Greetings, salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new episode of the Thrift Vlogs. Okay, so we're starting off today's video in the car as per usual recently. But, um, just got inside the car. So, I want to tell you guys a quick story. So, there was a bag that I have been kind of stalking on, like, it was on both Instagram and in real life. And the store that I frequent, a consignment store, posted a photo of this bag and then it was up on their website and I could buy it from their website but I wanted to get it like in person so I can like I, I wouldn't have to wait for shipping and all that stuff plus if someone actually bought it after I bought it online and they went to the store and buy it then they would refund me and the person that bought it in the store would get it it's, it's like a complicated hot mess thing but I went to the store yesterday to go buy it but it was on hold and so it was like so close it's so far away so i was like you know what i'm just gonna wait till the next day which is today call them up in the morning when they open at 11 and the bag is still there so luckily they put on hold they were like oh we don't really do hold but we'll hold it for you and i was like thank you so much so now i'm heading over there to go pick it up and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go pick up that bag and i cannot wait to share it with you guys so let's not waste any more time let's head over all right you guys we just got here we are outside uh, i'm gonna go run in really quick and then go buy the bag and i'll show you guys what it is guys there's the bag so excited. All right, you guys, I just got inside of the car. I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek and then we're gonna go home and I'll show you guys what I got, but this is gonna be really fast. <sighs> okay, I'll see you guys at the house. All right, you guys, we are home now, but before anything else, I have to show you what mom is making because she is going all out for dinner tonight. Over here, she's making some beef minestrone soup, which I cannot wait to have because it's so delicious. And one of her signature recipes. Then over here, she also made some kebabs, chicken kebabs. We're gonna have a lamb right there. And then over here, what is this, mom? What kind of meatballs? Meatballs with, uh, with feta, feta cheese. Feta oh, cheese. So exciting. In the middle. And I, 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 went, I, went, I went grocery shopping, but I didn't bring you guys with me because I was just trying to be quick. But found the feta cheese at Trader Joe's. I thought we were gonna make feta cheese pasta, but she's actually using it for the meatballs. <laughs> But well, that's yummy. And I also got us some coffee ice cream, which we are currently enjoying. All right, you guys, so mom and I are outside and we are cooking. We got some meatballs, the skewers. Oh, it's so cute. Mom, we're, def we're definitely gonna take a cute photo right now too. Wow, look at that, yummy. Looks so good. All right, you guys, mom's gonna set up our little black charcuterie board thing. Oh, oh, oh it broke off. <laughs> oh, everything looks so delicious. I didn't get to show you because I was outside and mom was making the lamb. And it looks so delicious. Like, honestly, I'm like, my mouth is watering. Mm -mm -mm. All right, you guys, look at this food. There's the chicken kebabs, we have some lamb, we have the meatballs, tzatziki, and hummus, and it looks so delicious. Yum, can't wait to eat. We also have this delicious looking salad, and we have some garlic naan over there as well. And now we're actually ready to eat. Yum, right, yum, you guys, it's time to show you all the bag. I can't believe that I got this. And I was so excited. So here it is, beautiful Chanel boy bag. I believe this is in the large size, but it is in navy. Um, it definitely has some signs of wear. We're definitely going to be going on a little journey with the bag together. But actually, it's like it's not in the like bad shape really at all. It just needs a little bit of TLC, and I think we're gonna get it looking even better than it already is. Um, I love this style. It's like the perfect size. I actually really, really like the size of this it has like the ruthenium hardware it opens like this here is the interior i've already started using it but i just took everything out still need to clean the inside 
<laughs> I honestly like just threw everything in it because I already wanted to use it. I started using it the second I got out of the store. I just threw the stuff in my pockets into the bag. But it's awesome. It comes with the authentication certificate from Entropy. It also has the little, the original card that goes with it as well. But the inside just has a zipper pocket. It has two open pockets and then a little key thing right here. It actually does come with a little zipper pull. Where did I throw it? I threw it inside one of these pockets. The, the zipper pull look, looks like it came off, but that's e really easy to just put back on. And I'm just gonna use some clamps to like push it back down so that it'll stay. So I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna do it all like in a video or something, but this bag is so, so gorgeous. I really like the size. I honestly didn't think that I would like this size until I actually carried it. It's like perfect. It literally holds everything. Oh, like look at that, it's so amazing. <sighs> Beautiful. So let me give you a quick little backstory about the bag. I saw it online. I saw it online first, that, and then I found out what store had it, and I went to go pick it up. And I told you guys it was 2nd Street. And it was such a great deal for a Chanel boy bag. Like, the price is a little expensive, like a lot expensive, honestly. But for what the bag is, like this bag, the resale value, I think is around like four thousand ish dollars, give or take, depending. And I got it for more than half of that price. So I thought it was really great. They actually had this in black also, but that one was like four thousand or five, four or five thousand dollars. So it was like a lot more expensive than this one. So I just had to jump on it. It's beautiful. It has like it's a little bit different from the normal the like the normal style i think this one has a thicker stitching like the the stitching is like the what is that called the string that they use to stitch it is like thicker than normal which i really really like i feel like it looks i don't know it looks cool i just really love the style of this so i'm just very 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 excited like honestly i'm like so like i've wanted this bag for so so long and i've always i'm so excited and to get it in navy too navy is one of my favorite colors and i don't i think i have uh maybe two other blue colored bags but none of this like shade of blue i like have my celine nano that one is i think it's like a more brighter blue than this i don't know but it's just beautiful. I love it. It's the perfect size. We're going to definitely be like conditioning it and cleaning it all together. We're gonna, I'm going to do a video on it very, very soon. I don't exactly know when, but it's definitely going to happen. Uh, the corners have like a little bit of wear, as you can see, but nothing like too major. Like I, I would, I'm like not worried about it or bothered by it at all. I feel like this this style of the Chanel bag, the boy bag, it lends itself to looking a little bit more rugged. I feel like in a little bit more casual than say like the classic um chanel with the cc lock i feel like that one's a little bit more like fancy i feel like this is like the more like rugged version of that if that makes sense i don't know i'm just going crazy i just like can't even think of the word to say because i'm just so enamored and excited by this bag i think it's a beautiful i'm so excited to add it to the collection and i know you guys wanted a collection video very soon about my like my handbag collection right now i'm actually waiting on one more item to come in the mail it's coming very very soon and then i'm gonna do a video on that and then i'm gonna do like a full collection of what's currently in my handbag collection at the moment i feel like i'm actually going to be i don't know i've been like toying with the idea of downsizing a lot more and like really thinking about what pieces to keep in my collection but i'm not sure because i just love them all so much like every time i um, i think about parting with the bag it just like makes me cringe so i'm very very excited so welcome this new baby to the family um yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, um, don't take like I hope you guys don't take this video as like bragging or anything crazy. Like I just like wanted to share this bag with you and like kind of like the journey of getting it. Okay, so I didn't even tell you guys like actually what happened. So so I saw this online, right? I went to the store on a Sunday to see if I could buy it. It was on hold for someone else. And I was like, oh man, and I asked them how long the hold was for. And then I asked if I could do like a second hold, you know, like if that person didn't end up picking it up at, by the end of the day, then they would put on hold for me the next day and then I could come in. He had no clue what I was talking about, <laughs> the person behind the register. So I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Like I'll just like 
call at the end of the night and see if it's still there. I totally spaced out. And like, they closed at like 8 o'clock. I think I called a few minutes after. Of course, no one answered because they were closed. But I still called anyway. Then I called right at opening the very next day. And turns out that the person that had it on hold didn't end up buying it. So I went to the store, picked it up. Um, it was crazy though because traffic was horrendous going there. And it was even more horrendous driving back. I think it took me... Um, it took me over an hour to get to the store and it took me a little, well, maybe around two hours to get back home. And I just like literally went back and forth really quickly. So all in all, it probably took me over, over like three hours to drive to get this bag, but it was totally worth it. And now she's part of the family. I think we need a name. I'm thinking like something like cool, like Sapphire would be really, like really pretty. But let me, let me know what you guys think. Or just like Blue. Like Blue is a cute name. Um, what's that show? Like the imaginary, like that little blue imaginary friend guy. And it was like that cartoon. They had like a, they had a, um, what's it called? Like an orphanage for imaginary friends. And the, I don't know. I think I'm going crazy. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out today. Uh, I, I'm just like spacing out. I'm just like so excited. I'm so happy that... Um, I got this bag and I know it's just a bag. It's just like a it's it's just a physical material thing But I don't know. It's just exciting and I wanted to share this moment with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video tomorrow bright and early at 7 a.m. All right. Bye